Come, let us worship and bow down, bend in the knee before our Maker. You are our God and we are your people, the flock you shepherd. Good evening, welcome to the Daily Office. Thank you for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Friday, August 23rd, and the scripture for this service, Psalm 141. Acts chapter 24, verse 24, to chapter 25, verse 12. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, source of all being, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we've left undone. For the sake of our Savior, Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses. Grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. And may Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, I cry out to you, make haste to help me. Alleluia, Psalm 141. Alleluia, I cry out to you, make haste to help me. Bend your ear to my voice and answer me when I cry. Let my prayer rise before you as incense and the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Set a watch before my mouth and guard the door of my lips. Let me not be inclined to do any evil thing, to practice wicked works with them that work evil, nor let me eat of their delicacies. Let the righteous smite me, it shall be a kindness, and let them reprove me, it shall be an excellent oil, which shall not break my head, for my prayer is continually against their wicked deeds. When their leaders are overthrown in stony places, they shall hear my words, for they are sweet. Our bones are scattered at the grave's mouth as when one cuts and splits wood upon the earth. But my eyes are on you, my beloved God. In you is my trust. Leave me not destitute. Keep me from the snares which they have laid for me, and the traps of the workers of iniquity. And let the wicked fall into their own traps while I escape. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, I cry out to you. Make haste to help me. Alleluia. The lesson is from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 24, beginning at verse 24. Some days later, when Felix came with his wife Drusilla, who was Jewish, he sent for Paul and heard him speak concerning faith in Christ Jesus. And as he discussed self-control, justice, and the coming judgment, Felix became frightened and said, Go away for the present. When I have an opportunity, I will send for you. At the same time, he hoped that money would be given him by Paul, and for that reason he used to send for him very often and converse with him. After two years had passed, Felix was succeeded by Porcus Festus, and since he wanted to grant the Jews a favor, Felix left Paul in prison. Three days after Festus had arrived in the province, he went up from Caesarea to Jerusalem, where the chief priests and the leaders of the Jews gave him a report against Paul they appealed to him and requested as a favor to them against Paul to have him transferred to Jerusalem. They were, in fact, planning an ambush to kill him along the way. 
Festus replied that Paul was being kept at Caesarea, and that he himself intended to go there shortly. So he said, Let those of you who have the authority come down with me, and if there is anything wrong about this man, let them accuse him. After he had stayed among them not more than eight or ten days, he went down to Caesarea, and the next day he took his seat on the tribunal and ordered Paul to be brought. When he arrived, the Jews who had gone down from Jerusalem surrounded him, bringing many serious charges against him, which they could not prove. Paul said in his defense, I have in no way committed an offense against the law of the Jews, or against the temple, or against the emperor. But Festus, wishing to do the Jews a favor, asked Paul, Do you wish to go up to Jerusalem and be tried there before me on these charges? Paul said, I am appealing to the emperor's tribunal. This is where I should be tried. I have done no wrong to the Jews, as you very well know. Now if I am in the wrong and have committed something for which I deserve to die, I am not trying to escape death. But if there is nothing to their charges against me, no one can turn me over to them. I appeal to Caesar. Then Festus, after he conferred with his council, replied, You have appealed to the emperor, and to Caesar you shall go. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Let us pray. Accept our evening prayer, dear God, and the lifting of our hands to you as our evening sacrifice. In you we place our trust, for you will not leave us destitute, nor ensnared in the traps of the wicked. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and the almighty and merciful God, the source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. <laughs>